Hi everyone, my name's Billy and uh, you're watching the Fisher Film Crew. I'm sat here with um, Fisher FC assistant manager, player and all-round cult hero Luke With. Uh, Luke, it's a pleasure to be talking to you. Um, I was just, you know, when I spoke to AJ a few weeks ago, uh, he, he mentioned you as somebody who was a key part of his setup. Um, and I was just wondering if you could briefly outline, you know, what your role is in the team, you know, and how that relates to everyone else. Yeah, so um, as assistant managers, a lot of, a lot of things that um, I try to help AJ with, um, help AJ with picking the team um, most most weeks, and then with training during, during the week and uh, and also looking at some of the VO stuff. So look, looking at the playback and, and looking at things that we do well, things that maybe we can maybe uh, benefit from and stuff like that. Yeah. And you've been working with AJ in some capacity for a while now. Yeah. I was wondering uh, what about your relationship do you think has led to such a long and fruitful relationship? Um, I, think it, I think it started off um, just from being a half decent player um, and yeah, AJ put a bit of trust in me up top. Um, I scored a few goals in the first few seasons with him. And since then, yeah, he, uh, he never really looked for a striker. I never really looked to go anywhere else. Um, and, and yeah, we just sort of developed our, our friendship from there, to be honest. And uh, yeah, now, now obviously we've, we've come to fish. I was a player, in, obviously, straight, uh, first of all. Um, and now, yeah, like he, he, he asked me, he sort of told me that um, he was sort of holding a position for me um, when, when I did choose to retire. Um, and yeah, when, when he offered me the assistant manager job, I kind of jumped in it. I got a couple of offers to play, um, same-ish sort of standard. And I, I thought, no, you, you don't really get opportunities like this, um, especially at a club like Fisher as well. Um, we've, we've played, we've, me and him have been involved with one or two other clubs and, and they're nice clubs, got a lot of respect for them and stuff like that. But the community sense you get from from Fisher is isn't at every club, um, and so and so yeah that was something that I had to weigh up and and it was I came to a quick decision to to take that ball on board. That's yeah I mean that's I think everyone involved in the club really enjoys that community sense. Um, so it's, it's it's nice to hear you mention that. Uh, you know you say position was held for you for when you retired, but. You're not strictly retired, are you? I mean, you've uh, you've you know, you, you're listed on the subs uh, on the subs bench a few times uh, this season. You've played a couple of times in the FA Cup. Um, how, how do you? I mean, do you? Where where are your playing days at? Are you still going to play a little bit more? Do you reckon? Uh, that's a difficult question right now. Um, but no, the the main reason that I've got on the pitch is that we have really lacked um, some bodies. Um, the injuries have been really bad. Um, so, so yeah, like uh, I've needed to get on the pitch once or twice. Like even like the Welling game, I probably wouldn't have got on if if any was fit. Um, but yeah, we, never say never. I've, I've started to train myself um, recently because um, of the sort of situation we're in. And we, we, yeah, me and AJ spoke about potentially maybe getting on the pitch or not. Um, but that that will we'll see in a few weeks or so. Yeah, I was just thinking about one of those FA Cup appearances when you came on against Spellthorn. Um, I think a lot of us watching felt that you had quite a positive impact on the game. Um, maybe, and you know, you think about the way that we recruit our players. We've got a lot of young, exciting players, yeah. but we don't have that experience. much experience. Yeah. And I, I, you know, just watching it felt like someone with a bit more experience came on, calmed everyone down, yeah. gave a bit of focus. Um, I was wondering, you know, is that sort of lack of experience within the squad something that you're thinking about and think about ways to counteract? Yeah, um, yeah. Me and AJ have this conversation, almost, definitely every year. Um, I I do think we need one older head in 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 the team, um, j just to do like you said, uh, calm calm the team down and stuff like that, um, and know when to kick the ball long and, and stuff like that. But but um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I do think that we we could benefit from that. But he, he highlights the point that actually these boys have played quite a lot now mm. and they should be taking on that experience role um, which which I definitely agree with so that's something that me and AJ would def we're, we're always sort of looking at and fighting each other um, about yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely um, and just uh, you know you, you work in as AJ's assistant but of course thinking back to the FA Cup run um, there was a it, there was a game in that where it wasn't AJ's black and white army but it was Luke yeah. Wid's black and white army yeah. how did you uh, enjoy the challenge of being the main man? Yeah no it was it, it, it was great. It, it was a great experience for me. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, there was a lot of, uh, I felt a bit of pressure, um, to be honest with you, um, especially 
he was away for like three games um and after the first and the second game it was kind of easy and then and then the third game you you kind of thinking oh like this boy deserves a start that this boy don't do you know what I mean so it, that's when the sort of tough decisions started to needed to be made mm. um and that's when I started to get a little bit of a headache and when he returned I was uh, a lot happier but um I, I did enjoy it um, and it is something that, yeah, uh, potentially later on down the line, maybe that might be something that I'll move into as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess just finally, re- uh, we asked this question to Sam Fitzgerald. Um, it's something that's been on the m- minds of the fans quite a lot, I think. Um, basically, Luke, I just want to know, what's your favourite cheese? I don't like cheese. S- straight up don't like it? No, I just don't like cheese. No, not all, sorry. Apologies. <laughs> that's okay. That's a, that's an interesting answer in itself. Thank you very much, Luke. Um, best of luck for today's game and all of the games. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.